tier one, so everything that we do goes vertically down. Um, you'll see week one slash week two, week three slash week four. So this is day one. We're gonna do single leg clock hops. So think about a clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock. Um, when we do these, we're always coming back in the middle. So I'd go to 12, back to the middle, three, back to the middle. That would be one. You're gonna do three each leg. After that, essentially it's single leg balance. So you can play catch you know, with your parents, with a friend, try to stay balanced, slight knee bend, just you throw the ball anywhere, right hand catches, left hand catches, doesn't matter. Um, and then you have single leg hop. So we're just focusing on being able to stick it. So hop, stick, and hold it for two counts. Tier two are snap downs. So snap downs are our beginning of our jumping program. Um, for us, our big focus is Slightly off the heels, so or on the toes, so about two inches off. Arms are gonna be straight up. So straight up, we're gonna snap down essentially in our power position, we call it. So snap, hold for two counts, reset. We do two of those. Then you have essentially a mini squat jump. We're just calling it a baby squat jump. So same concept. Snap down, mini jump. Get right back in your position. So when we land in slow motion, we toe heel, butt. So if I land slow, toe, heel, butt. That way I have a slight hinge, knee bend, and I'm in a protective wave. Big thing, don't want our knees caving in. We want to keep our kneecap right in line with our toe. Oop, got that shoe. So we'll have two mini squat jumps. After that, we're going to do wall runs. So for me, I'm gonna have to pretend to do wall runs. Imagine, essentially, you're holding on a wall. Shoulders, hips, heels are in one line. So straight line, we're just marching knee up, toe up. Nice and controlled, landing in the same spot every time with a slight 45 degree angle. So, there'd be a slight angle. Obviously, if I hold on to something, a little bit further away, knee up, toe up. So the action would be, Push the knee slightly forward, knee up, toe up. Striking the ground at the same spot every time. You're gonna do single leg, sorry, marches first. You're gonna go eight each leg, so it'll be 16 total. After that, it would be half kneeling, arm swing, so 10 seconds. We really wanna focus on 90 degrees in the front, say 100, 110 in the back. So just nice, soft arm swings, always keeping our arms at those angles. What we don't want is you crossing your body. So imagine, you know, there's a piece of glass that basically cuts you in half. If I come across, I'm gonna break the glass. So we wanna stay in rhythm and in good position, good posture, shoulders are relaxed, it's all coming from that shoulder, but we don't wanna to be too hung up or we don't wanna look like a dinosaur. So you have 10 seconds of arm swings. After that, zigzag drill is pretty easy. You'll have a start cone, walk out five yards straight ahead, put a cone down, walk 90 degrees to your right, put a cone down at five yards, then another cone straight ahead. So it'll be cone, cone five yards, cone five yards, cone five yards, that's the finish. So it's sprint, sprint, sprint. It's all about change of direction, being able to work in that zigzag drill. So you're gonna do a couple on one side where you're going sprint, left foot plant, sprint, right foot plant, sprint through. So if I did, it'd be sprint, sprint, sprint. So we do a couple one way and a couple the opposite way. That way we get our right leg plant and our left leg plant first. Um, write down the times where it says wait. It's actually, you're gonna put your times in and compare them in the next four weeks. The next drill you have is the 5105, so the normal pro agility. Starting in the middle, we'll say cone zero, Cone one is five yards to, to obviously my right, and then cone two, five yards to my left. So I would sprint to the first cone, touch, sprint through to cone two, touch, then sprint through the middle. So it'd be five yards, 10 yards, five yards. If you can look it up on YouTube, five ten five drill, really simple. Uh, the next one, you'll need four cones you'll make a box. I always make about five yard box, put a cone in the left corner, right corner, 
left back corner, right back corner. So you'll need a partner for this or a parent. It's all reaction. So being in the middle, obviously, cone, two cones, left and right, two cones, back, left and right. You're standing in the middle. So the whole point is to have real quick reaction. So if someone points the front cone, sprint, touch, obviously don't turn your back. Be able to turn, see them, is that and all of a sudden they can sit point to that cone, sprint to that cone, plant, come right back. So big focus is being able to A, plant. So when we plant, we want to drop our hips, push off, get right back to the middle. So if they point to that cone, we sprint, drop hips, plant, come right back, get ready for the next cone. So it's a reaction drill. You can point to whatever cone you want. So if they point to the back cone, sprint, turn, plant, come right back to the middle. Always got to come back to the middle to start. After that, you'll have just a forward ISO lunge, so hold on a forward lunge, and then ISO squat. Hold and squat. That will all be tied. Big thing, next one, world's greatest for day two. Push up position. Opposite foot, to op or sorry, same foot to same hand. So left to left, right to right, back leg stays off the ground and straight. Try to touch the elbow to the ground, then back. We're gonna have five each side after that. Pigeon stretch, shins at about a 45 degree angle, trying to push our hip back towards the ground. Back leg is straight, hold for 30 seconds each leg. Classic tricep stretch. Hand going behind, grabbing elbow part of tricep, slightly pulling straight back. 20 seconds each arm. After that, you have a kneeling lat stretch. You have 20 seconds, so reach your hands out, hold your hands there, push your butt back towards your heels. 20 seconds, you go through that three times. So our next thing is really fundamental day two movements. We're really just trying to focus on how to move, how to do it properly, and build our foundational bases as we go. So we have single leg bridges. So when I do a single leg bridge, right heel is on the ground, left leg is parallel, foot is dorsiflex towards me. You're gonna do 10 bridges in a row. So coming straight up, back down. The 10th one, you're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Then relax, then switch legs. Double leg, same thing. Drive through both heels. Then hold for 10 seconds after on the last rep. After that, you have Superman pull down holds. So it'd be on our stomach, essentially. I'm gonna do it on my knees. So you'd be on your stomach, like a pull up or a Superman, pull your arms all the way back, squeeze your scaps together. 15 seconds, obviously that'd be on your stomach. Same thing, we're gonna do a push-up hold. So two options, you go on your knees. When we go on our knees, make sure, no matter what, hips are pushed forward, elbows are tight, hold for 10 seconds or a normal push-up. Big thing when we do push-ups, we don't wanna be out wide. We're at about a 45 degree on my elbows. I can have a little space. That way, we can completely retract back pull our scap to us, back out. Not just arms, it's whole body. So, you do 10 second push up hold. After that, tier three is a split squat. So split squats, sorry, bugs are playing my eyes guys. Lunge position essentially, or split squat stance. Left foot's forward, right foot is back. You go down, straight down. We wanna focus on having a vertical shin for right now. It'd be in a three count going down, lightly touch, back up. Now, for us, in our split squat, we do not wanna bring this back foot up. So, straight down, three, two, one, up. Then you go right back down again. You're gonna do five each leg with a three second eccentric. After that, a single leg march is just a progression of our bridges. So, when we do this, remember we said, Toe dorsiflex, opposite leg in the air, parallel, so up, 
keep your hips up, switch, hold for a count, switch. So it's nice and controlled. After that, you're gonna have prone, eyes, Y's, T's, and A's. All it is is scat movement. So, oh, eyes are, I don't know if I can see. Eyes straight out, feet on the ground, Y's 45 degree angle, T's, thumbs up, pull our scaps together, A's, push your shoulders down, then roll. You're gonna have 10 second hold, holds at each position, so it'll be 40 total seconds of work. Tier four is push-ups. Just like we went over, we really wanna focus on our scaps retracting, shoulders are relaxed, elbows are pretty tight, press back out. Same thing on the ground. Three push-ups with bear crawls, so 20 seconds of bear crawls when we do bear crawls. We want a really tight position. So, I'm real tight, lower the ground. Small step, so opposite, right? Hand forward, left leg forward, switch. Maintaining a flat back the entire time. That's the whole goal. It's a big core exercise, big stabilize, stabilization exercise. After that, 4C is working on a retraction, protraction. Same thing we were talking about. Any kind of row we do, we want to focus. Arm straight out. Arm can bend a little when we do this, but not too much. We want to retract, push back out. So, push out, retract, back in. On the different side, push out far, retract. If I face you, push out, retract. Again, the scapula to move. You're gonna have five of those. After that, you'll have partner hamstring curls for 5A, so tier five, last thing. You'd hold your partner's ankles down, or calves hold them down, don't let them move. Obviously, I don't have a partner. When we fall, we wanna fall. Hips push forward, hips and shoulders and knees are a straight line. So we don't wanna fall and collapse.